Hello, everyone. I have seen where some persons have been expressing that they are having issues importing grades from Google Forms or they are unable to see their student names on a particular form. Now, today I'm going to talk about the reasons behind this, and I am also going to show you a way out of this. So, firstly, let's open a class. Let's go to classwork to create that quiz. Once you're in the classwork, click on create, and then you go to quiz assignment. Now, once you open a quiz assignment, a blank quiz form will be generated. What I want you to notice is that on my screen, you can see grade importing. The reason why I can see this is because my students' email and my email, they are of the same organizational domain. If you're unable to see this, this is where the problem lies. And the reasons behind this one, it could be that you're using your personal email or your student's email are outside of your organization domain. In other words, your students can also be using their personal emails. Now, I'm going to show you a class that I have created as an example. And in this class, I'm using my personal email, so I'm going to go to classwork, and then I'm going to create a quiz assignment. Notice here, the quiz is generated, however, my grade importing tab is absent. Now, how do I work around this problem? So I'm going to show you a little trick to this. So I'm going to click on the blank quiz. Once the quiz is open, you want to name your quiz. So I'm going to name this quiz as Chemistry Final Exam. And then what you want to do now is to go to your first question. Once you go to your first question, you want to change it to short answer. And then the title of your question should be, please write your name. Now, the next thing to do is to ensure you click on the required tab. Now, once you have done this, the students must answer this question before moving on to the other question. So, in other words, they must write their name first. Please do not go to answer key because there is no need for a grade. Leave it at zero points because this will not add to their final grade. And so once you have done that, you could always click on the plus sign to add your next question, which is your first true question. And you can decide whether to be multiple choice or whatever question. Now, notice here, there is an asterisk at this question, which means this question is required before moving on. So once you have done this, you will always see your students' names whenever you're marking. So once the quiz is completed, you go to responses and go to individual responses and you can see exactly who is doing what form. I hope this is helpful for you. So have a great and blessed day.